Casunet will support a serial connection, a wired network connection, as well as a wireless network connection. This tutorial will go over connecting the court reporter's real-time computer to receiving client computers using a network connection. A network router or access point is what connects a group of computers together and allows the exchange of data. The router that we'll use in our examples is the Linksys E1200, which is a wireless router but also has four Ethernet ports to support wired network connections. The court reporter will typically have his or her router already set up prior to the start of proceedings. If a wireless network is being used, the court reporter can provide the SSID or name of the network and passphrase to access the network. Connect to the court reporter's wireless network just like you would at a coffee cafe or a hotel. If you are connecting to the router with an Ethernet cable, connect one end of the cable to one of the available ports on the router and the other end to your computer's network port or NIC card. Start KSUNet. Verify that you have enabled KSUNet's connection wizard by going into KSUNet's system options. On the menu bar, click options and then system options. Under connections, the use connection wizard option should be set to yes. To change it, click on that field and then on the drop down arrow at the right to select the setting. Click OK to exit. On the KSUNet toolbar, click the connect icon to start the connection wizard. The connection wizard welcome screen displays. Click next. The creating a connection screen displays. Verify that the network internet option is selected. Click next. The setting up the options screen displays. Click next to accept the default option settings. The connecting to a server screen displays. All available Case Catalyst servers display. Select the Windows computer name of the reporter's Case Catalyst computer which shows as a server. In most situations, the Case Catalyst computer will be the only server listed. Click Next. The Login Credentials screen displays. Enter your name, organization, and assigned KSUNet password in the fields provided. The password is created and assigned by the court reporter. If you do not receive it, consult the court reporter. Click Next. The Completing the Connection screen displays. Click Finish. The KSUNet connection status displays briefly as KSUNet establishes an active connection. If you establish a connection to the real-time feed after the session begins, you should receive all of the data starting from the beginning of the session. With the network connection, you'll receive the most complete and most accurate real-time transcript to view and annotate. 